Welcome to the last quarterly favorites video of 2022 and as our tradition we'll start with the beauty category so I love the combo of these two products I've been wearing the Merit complexion stick pretty much every time I do my makeup these days and I am wearing it right now. You can even pick darker shades to use it as a contour stick. I use the shade Bisque and it is the perfect match to my skin tone so I use this as the base of my face. This is actually a slightly older version of the product. I believe the newer version didn't change the formula but you do get more product within the tube. What makes me use this a lot more recently is I've discovered, I mean I'm probably the last person on the internet to talk about some sort of makeup sponge beauty blender thing. This is not beauty blender, this is from the brand Jenny Patinkin. Um, it is a relatively, I think, relatively new brand. It's their matcha beauty sponge. First of all, look at this beautiful matcha green color. Unless you can't tell from my surroundings, I am quite obsessed with green. So it is just making putting on foundation or just any base products so much easier. I've been traveling quite a bit this quarter, so I've definitely been enjoying my super gray makeup bag. I can't believe I didn't feature it in any of my previous quarterly favorites because I use this bag every time I travel and I've had this for well over a year now. It has never felt me perfect size, not too big, not too small. And I like the square shape because it fits in my Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette perfectly. I also cannot believe I've never talked about this one in my favorites because this is another travel favorite. This basically permanently lives in my super great makeup bag because I pretty much only use it when I travel and it is because it has basically everything you need for your look. So you got your eyeshadow shades, you got your contour blushes as well as your highlight and this is a discontinued uh, shade called Stoned Rose Beauty but they do have a newer packaging which I believe is like a lighter blush pink color with newer shades that all look so so beautiful so if you've never tried Charlotte Tilbury product and you want to dabble into the brand first of all it's very reasonably priced I believe it's around $75 and if you can get it on sale which happens somewhat often on Sephora or on Charlotte Tilbury's website it is such a great deal because you don't have to go out and buy all these individual products back to this makeup bag I also love that there is a bottom compartment which is perfect to separate your dry stuff with wet stuff so like for example I put my toothbrush toothpaste and just things that could get wet like my makeup remover sponge thingy here so that it doesn't get soaked inside the main compartment so I love that and because it is a cotton material with inside I believe wipeable kind of nylon it can fit a lot let's talk about some lip face favorites elf ride or die lip balm just peachy i love first of all the packaging reminds me a bit of the glossier packaging it looks really high quality and it's like i don't know two three dollars so amazing amazing price point with pretty much anything you get from elf and what I love about this is it has a little bit of a tint and it does work as a lip balm because a lot of the tinted lip balms, they do have the tint but then they don't actually nourish your lips. Another, oh I didn't realize this is also e.l.f. Um, again, love the packaging because it's just so straightforward. You can basically see through everything in here. Um, this is their Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Nectar almost like a corally nude shade perfect for when the weather is a little bit colder it feels really comfortable smooth it 
does not really have any scent to it either. The next one, kind of along the lines of a similar clear packaging. This is from PYT Beauty. Sorry, not sorry. Lipstick, popping poppy. So I love, it looks like a really bright pink on my lips. It actually is kind of a color in between a bright pink and bright red. I really love this color for when I just want to feel a bit more dressed up. The next one you would have seen in my Lip Maestro swatches in one of the Avon Miss Audrey episodes. And this particular shade 200 is what I'm wearing now. I just feel like this is the most seasonally appropriate everyday shade. Now it does look quite dark but because of almost like a mauve uh, tint underneath but it's not too cool tone so again it just works really well for my warmer skin tone and I just really love this range I have all of my six shades here I also really love the shade 405. This is an old favorite. I have used this for probably a couple of years now. You can also apply these Lip Maestro's very lightly if you just use your finger to dabble it on your lip to get a more muted look or you can do what I do which is apply it fully but then um, basically take off the shine with just a sheet of toilet paper or something so that it looks more matte and it feels really comfortable. It is velvety smooth it doesn't dry my lips out just perfect if you have noticed the nails that i have this is actually my next favorite which is betty cora press on gel nails they come with these customized version where you can pick your nail size so for example this pair that i'm wearing now is size extra small they also come with these really fun but just more generic sizes and they do give you extra um, press on nails to make sure that you can find a size that work for you but I just really love that a it is reusable so all you need to do is to buy the gel adhesive I talked about this in my I've been with Audrey episode as well as on my TikTok which I have never mentioned that I did start a TikTok account maybe I say a couple of months ago I do want to put on more of those kind of shopping or handbag related short form videos on my TikTok so it will be different from my YouTube channel back to the topic of Betty Cora it also saves a lot of time instead of waiting at a nail salon for like hours and also spending a lot of money on the nails you can very much just buy a pair and reuse it by just buying more gel glue or the gel adhesive. Moving on to fashion. The first favorite is the Lily Silk Silk Bra and it is one size fits most. It basically feels not too different from my Nay one size fits most bra but I will say that this feels a little bit sturdier than my Nay ones and it feels extremely comfortable. I can put this in the washer dryer as well or I typically just like to hand wash just because it is a bit more gentle but you can definitely throw this in the washer and it is also seamless. I have done a dedicated review of these Thinks period underwear probably two and a half years ago now when I first started this YouTube channel. And again, I can't believe I never put these into any of my favorite videos because this is literally what I wear every month when I get my period. And I used to use pads. Um, I've not used any other things for my period, but ever since I discovered these pair of underwear, there is no going back. You are saving the environment. You are not buying a ton of pads or tampons, whatever you use, but also it feels extremely comfortable. The only downside is it, depending on your flow, um, I do have to change it every few hours, especially during the first couple days of my period. So it's probably not the most convenient when you, you know, have to work at an office or when you're traveling, you can't just, I mean, you can, if you want to lug around a bag of 
you know your period of nowhere with you but <laughs> I just uh, do go back to my previous method which is pads when I travel moving down <laughs> further I want to talk about these socks and it is probably the most boring thing to put in a favorites video but these are the hangs cotton socks like I don't know how else to describe them you buy them um, for a pack of 10 from Amazon I believe they are just under $10 for a pack of 10 so that is under a dollar per pair and they last they are so comfortable they keep your feet warm you can also get the no-show version as well i wear these they wear really well with my air force ones or just any type of sneakers or even under um, some of the taller boots they are just perfect next fashion favorite is this sweater that i am wearing now this is not new to my wardrobe but i've had this since maybe even early last year definitely two years or more now this is from H&M and it is the perfect dupe for the totem sweater like the braided version H&M still has this sweater this year which just goes to show that it must be pretty popular last time they launched this so they relaunched it and it came with even more colors than when I bought this the sleeve here is not like super tight which which is what a traditional kind of braided sweater would look like so I love that it gives it more of a modern take pretty much the perfect dupe for the totem except for the totem one I believe is cashmere this is probably some sort of polyester blend acrylic or something like that but I don't care because it's not too itchy you can always layer a uh, long sleeve heat tag or some sort of tight shirt underneath if you are really 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 sensitive but I have somewhat sensitive skin and it does not bother me another sweater favorite also from H&M H&M is just the best place to go when it comes to buying knitwear if you want affordable chic classic or even trendy pieces I'm pretty sure you can go to H&M and find a sweater that will make you want to buy and this is another totem dupe this is actually a higher quality piece from H&M in terms of the material so it is 100% wool I believe it keeps me so warm I was away from home for pretty much three weeks and every time it got cold I pretty much only wear this sweater it is extremely soft comfortable I love the sleeves again just a wide sleeve with the um, detail of basically you have your stripes in the main part of the sweater but not at the cuffs or on top which is really flattering it is actually really hard to find a right striped sweater even though stripe trend is everywhere every single brand under the sun is doing striped sweaters this is definitely some of the best and probably closest to the totem version i believe the totem one is the road neck version i actually love this mock neck one because you can fold it down if you want to but when it's cold it just sits really nicely like pretty much right under my chin to keep me warm while we're on the h&m train i also got this uh scarf slash shawl it is double-sided again the pattern just reminds me of totem vibe look at this it looks so high quality and i love i've never owned any shawls in my life and now i cannot live without one i just constantly put this at the back of my chair so when it gets a little chilly it's so easy to just put it on it looks really elegant i love the colors moving on to outerwear this mango faux fur brown coat has been with me for a few years extremely warm and i believe they have similar versions at the moment it looks super luxurious as well like even though this is full fur i wish you could feel it it's so smooth 
and warm and soft and the neck area is my favorite because once you kind of buckle it up again you don't need a scarf or anything it'll keep your neck so so warm i love this rich chocolate brown color which goes perfectly with my velvet brown accessories which are my next favorite so both are from h&m can you tell i'm like the biggest fan of h&m um i love this braided dark chocolate brown headband makes me feel like a princess as well as this velvet bow that you can very easily just add on top of your low bun i just love the vibe of basically a blair wardoff but um much more affordable because both of them are from h&m pretty high quality as well moving on to shoes i have my trusty sorel pretty much uh, snow boots because look at the bottom it is definitely designed for you know the ski resorts snow season and i live in new york city so this is somewhat of a must-have some version of this is definitely a must-have i love the lace detail like even though this is a pair of snow boots it is not ugly and i can actually wear it with more fashionable things it is furry lined all inside down at the bottom it's more of like a fleece lining so so warming i love these for handbags the first one is my tory birch tweed bucket bag can you see there is a tweed theme i am quite obsessed with pretty much anything tweed at the moment and i love that it just hits me at the right place i wore this pretty much when i traveled all throughout this quarter because it is just a perfect size that you can put anything in it like your phone can fit in perfectly it looks small but it actually fits a lot because of the bucket style and of course you can you know tighten it here but i just keep it open because nothing really falls out the next handbag is very special because my aunt made this for me and she made this with basically really really thick wool yarn i love how cozy this makes me feel i featured this in my very first album with audrey episode and even with my outfit today i just love the cream different shades of cream ivory paired together this is such a winter or even early spring bag it just makes me feel so cozy holding this and if I am tired, I don't know, I can kind of use this as a little pillow as well. For fragrance, I really love the Glossier U, which is not news to anyone because this fragrance has been out for a while. If there is a Glossier store near you, just go and smell this. It is just a universally flattering scent. The only downside is it doesn't last that long. So I did manage to snatch it up during their Black Friday sale and it's small enough that I feel like if you have basically any size handbag, like it fits in your bag pretty nicely. So you can just top it up throughout the day. But every time I smell this scent, it just makes me really cozy at peace happy it's very warming definitely feels more like a colder month scent than a warmer month scent and of course you gotta love the glossier packaging on the note of scent i also have a candle favorite which is another zara candle in collaboration with jo malone so you do get high quality un relatively unique scent with really really affordable pricing i believe this size candle i don't know how much 200 gram seven ounce candle typically sells for 15 or 20 dollar at zara so pretty good price given this scent just remember the name energetically new york first of all very much fits the scene because i live here but also it is just an addictive scent and i don't even need to light it up or put it under my candle warmer which you can see over there i did mention that in one of my earlier favorites videos you can just smell it just putting this on your desk I can just smell it throughout the day. I don't even have to use it. That's why it looks like I've never burned it, even though I did. I am just really trying to, to savor this. And because the scent is strong enough to basically project without you using it, it is just 
perfect another home favorite is this double wall mug that i'm using now it is very sturdy i've tried amazon brands double wall mugs and um i smashed two of them or accidentally broke two of them so this holds a long time and it is just beautiful to look at it actually keeps the temperature uh, consistent so it does serve a purpose besides just being beautiful the next home favorite is my hex clad walk i've had this for over a year got this for christmas last year use this pretty much every single day non-stick walk if you like to do stir fry it is not even that heavy it has um, the lid that comes with it it is just the best walk my aunt has used this exact same walk for probably almost a decade and um, just goes to show how great the quality is the next home favorites are these shoes you can definitely wear them out but i like to wear them as house slippers because they have the cat design it is from vivaya i've shared all of my vivaya shoes in an avon with audrey video and they are just the most comfortable shoes every style comes with different colors material um, patterns you can pretty much find any shoe that you're looking for there with really great quality and being sustainable for book favorites i have two for the quarter starting with lessons in chemistry by bonnie garmus and this is my book club book and we actually went to a virtual like author's talk type of event she talked about what kind of inspired her to write the book her writing process etc it's a very warming empowering book it makes me feel so proud to be a female and want to you know continue to be confident determined pursuing things that i'm passionate about it's just like a really feel good novel but also has really charming characters next book favorite is a series of unfortunate events by lemony snicket this is a series of 13 books you've probably heard of this because it's been around for a couple decades now and there is a netflix series which i watched first and then i listened to the series of unfortunate events beautiful production because you actually felt like you are inside the story it is a sad but ridiculous in the sense that it's funny but also kind of unbelievable story of adventures of three orphans even though it is technically a children's book i think whether you're a seven or 70 year old you will definitely benefit and learn something or feel something or just feel entertained by the time you're watching this it would be new year's eve so happy new year i wish you the best in the year of 2023 and I will see you in one of these videos. Bye!